Top of the morning to you. It's morning here in Christchurch anyway. Just going up. Process of drinking my my water for the morning. Aiming for a liter to a liter and a half or however much you got. This bottle's about a liter and a half. Had a great sleep last night. Uh, got about 11 hours or so. It's all good. It's all good. There's a, a vegan film festival on in Christchurch and I'm attending it this evening. I'm really looking forward to it. It's, uh, I believe it's the second vegan film festival that has been put in uh, for Christchurch and it runs over four hours and it has to screening sessions and there's, there's about a dozen films for each for the lot so they've broken into six six films put over to two sessions I've chosen to attend both the sessions because it was a, a really great price really affordable and it would be silly not to support such a wonderful cause for such a minuscule amount of money and the first the screening is there's a first movie and the movies are a mixture of short films, animated and documentaries. Uh, the first screening session has a vegan triathlon. Uh, that's the first film and it's a short film from uh, Meat Free Media about Christchurch's 2008 vegan triathlon. And it sees vegans swim, cycle, run and sweat, all for the fun and vegan community of course. It also states here, sadly since the closure of Kiwi 2, which was a which was pretty much Christchurch predominant um, sports facility due to the severe earthquakes that we've just had in the recent year, where many lives were lost. Um, no future triathlons are planned. The next film is the Vegetarian Expo, and it's Christchurch's premier vegetarian expo, and it's New Zealand's largest vegetarian event. Uh, it attracts thousands. It's a day showcasing the veg community. Businesses are focused on good fun and food. And this is a short movie showing some of the highlights of the 2009 Expo, so a few years ago. Um, again, it's going to be held this year on September the 30th, and it'll be a great event. And then you followed up with Tofu the Vegan Zombie. And this is a US flick, and it's an animated film. And Tofu is a friendly zombie created from a botched experiment in Professor Voss's laboratory. Monkey number five one of Voss lab animals stuffed a block of tofu into the zombie boy's open skull after accidentally losing the brain. As a result, tofu eats only vegetables and grains and has no taste for human meat. However, if tofu ever loses his tofu brain, he turns into a dangerous zombie creature craving human flesh. I'm looking forward to that one. It looks like it'll be real good. Followed up, you have Tegan the Vegan, and this is an Australian film, and this is a recent film, and Tegan is a 12-year-old. She's in love with the coolest boy in class and just found out where meat comes from. Tegan faces intolerance and peer pressure as she struggles to find the strength to follow her heart. Sounds very familiar. I'm sure a lot of people have experienced the same situation and the same struggle. The short, a short stop animation, short stop motion animation won Best Australian Animation in the 2011 WOW Film Festivals and won the Canberra Critic Circle Animation Award. Choice. Followed up, you have Making the Connection, and this is a UK film. The UK Vegan Society film asks the question: Do you have to choose between a healthy, fun, modern lifestyle and a fair, sustainable, compassionate lifestyle? UK vegans talk about their lives and why they follow a plant-based diet. Should be choice. And the last one in this session is Jill's film, and this is another UK film. And this is an impelling and beautiful film about the life and tragic death of a vegan animal liberation activist, Jill Phipps. The film tells the life story of this incredible, dedicated activist while weaving, while weaving in the history and achievements of the animal rights movement in the UK and the wider social and political issues and movements of this time. A personal window to the often hidden history of resistance movements. Resistance movements. 
So that's the first six of that screening time, and that takes, it's going to take, for all up those six films, it's going to take about an hour and three quarters. Really, really looking forward to that. It's going to be a real choice buzz, and hopefully, you know, get to meet a lot of choice people as well. The second lot is, again, it's a, it's a bit shorter actually. Oh no, it's a bit longer actually. Just shy of an hour, two hours. And the first flick is two on this, and it's a U US flick, and it's Peter's three minute visually striking film presenting the top reasons to go vegetarian. So it'll be powerful, choice, very informational, and it's from Peter, so it'll be good stuff. Followed up, you have Vegan Profiles, and this is a New Zealand flick. And this is four Kiwis talking about being vegan, what's good, what's tricky, and what it's like to be vegan in Aotearoa today. Now, a little, little heads up, there's only about 80,000 registered vegetarians in New Zealand, and that's part of New Zealand Vegetarian Society, and so that's vegetarian, that's not even vegan, so there's probably less than that. Um, myself, I choose to practice uh, high carbohydrate, low fat, raw vegan, high raw vegan, both aspiring for 100% raw lifestyle. And I know for a fact that there's only a couple of handful in New Zealand um, who are part of the wonderful 30 Bad community, so it'll be interesting to see that flick. The next flick up is Vegan Love, and it's a UK film, and it's a romantic comedy about a vegan man's quest to find a v vegan girlfriend in London. Awesome, I can so relate to this, because I'm, I'm a vegan male, and uh, I hope and aspire to, you know, um, commit to a union with, you know, a vegan woman. Uh, that would be awesome. So hopefully there'll be some, um, some cuties or some some woman that resonated there with me this evening, and if not, there'll be a wonderful chance to put myself out amongst the vegan community. And finally, the last flick is Get Vegucated, and I've really longed to see this, uh, and it's a UK, excuse me, it's a US film, and Vegucated is an award-winning feature-length documentary that follows three meat and cheese-loving New Yorkers who agree to adopt vegan diets for six weeks. There's Brian, the bacon-loving bachelor who eats out all the time. Alan, the single mum who prefers comedy to cooking, and Talsla, a college student who avoids vegetables and bans beans. What they discover along the way could change everything. Winner of the Best Documentary Jury Awarder at the Toronto Independent Film Festival, and a Chris Award at the Columbia International Film and Video Festival. So there's actually only four films in the second screening, so that's ten. So it's going to be a wonderful chance to go and see vegan-inspired films. They're also providing vegan food, uh, it's not at, from what I can gather, it's not at a large theatre, it's like an indie theatre as well, and that's really choice. So all in all, I hope it's going to be a wonderful event. I know it's going to be a wonderful event for me. I'm not going to have any vegan food. A lot of it's cooked food. Um, I'm just going to take some dates. and Also, I'm going to get in there and, and I'm going to take some flyers that I have as well, promoting the high-carbohydrate, low-fat low lifestyle. So, I look forward to it.